Hi, things have been happening. That's a common. Should I? Is this is this too close? I don't know. The, the fucking hell. I don't know how to introduce my videos, but again, the little corona thing. Um, remember to clean your phone. If you're not in self isolation, but you're in a position where you are able to do so, please don't go to the ER for tests. America is currently. I don't know what my audience. Are any of y'all from America? I don't even know. But America is currently in a shortage of tests right now. And going to the ER for them is just going to put a lot of pressure on them that they really don't need. Don't go to the ER for a test. Don't panic buy everything. Just shop normally. You shouldn't be buying more than a week's supply of things. And things you can do in self-quarantine. You can water and fertilize your plants. Remember to take care of your plants, take care of your pets. And if you have children, probably take care of those as well. Take a really nice shower or a bath or have like a spa day slash night. Catch up on schoolwork and study and exercise and work out. Literally, even if you like do a two minute workout and go back to bed, that's still, you're still doing something. So now a little update on Trisha Paytas. I feel like this entire video might just be Trisha Paytas. Is it going to be? Probably, but let's see how it goes. In my last video, which was about Trisha Paytas, I like put in a tweet, but I didn't read it out. It was just like a thing on the screen while I was talking about something else. It was a tweet. Oh, wait. Ugh. I have to find it now. Damn, y'all really made me do this. Okay, so she said, Anthony Padilla claims he has had depression slash anxiety, but mocks a manic depressive suicidal human. You can move me to trash, Anthony Padilla. Just make sure you and your girlfriend I roll my death and post it to your Instagram story because it's probably just for attention, right? You are so disgusting. You cannot use your mental health as a way to get out of being called out for something because you are a trash ass human being and you have spent a good amount of your YouTube career making sure that the mental health of people in minority communities such as those in the LGBTQ community and such as those in the DID community have suffered. You have made them suffer and you are a disgusting human being who doesn't care about anyone else and the only time you ever care about mental health is when it is about yours. Since Anthony Padilla knows my mind so well, please tell me how this ends. People can only be pushed so far. I did nothing but share my truth and now I'm being mocked because I'm known as the crazy mentally unstable troll of YouTube. Logic is to mock a mentally unstable person. Again, she only cares about mental stability and mental health when it comes to her, when it gets her out of being called out, when it gets her out of trouble. Just because you're mentally unstable doesn't mean you can fake DID, doesn't mean you could do all this shit to people with DID and make sure that their systems suffer. You did not share your truth. All you did is share misinformation and spread stigma. And then the thing that Dissociated put out that I know people are telling us to ignore a book her, but this is our job. You can see our community being hurt. We see people we love giving up. We were supposed to protect you. We promised all of you a safe space. We promised to try and make a difference. And then Trisha Paytas retweeted that and said, everyone except me, you have put my life in danger. Every system is valid except for mine. I get you money for hating on me, so my system is up for sacrifice. You are not a system. You are a singular person and you know nothing about DID. You self-diagnose with little to no information about DID. You are in a position to get professionally diagnosed, but you won't because you know you don't have it. But since it's become trendy because Anthony Padilla made a video about it, you want to jump on that. You want to pretend that you're a minority. You're not treasure. She then said, unfortunately, I can't control which altar comes to light. My past abusers also accused me of lying. That's all they did when I was telling the truth. Some systems really be evil and trying to attack mine, like your very one right now. Please leave us alone. You are not an us. Trisha, you have been on YouTube for over 10 years. Not a single time in that 10 years has any of your altars come to light because you don't have altars. This is the first time and it's because Anthony Padilla made a video about it. It was because Anthony brought attention to it. It's because now you see it as trendy and you want to jump on it. You are not telling the truth and you are evil. Your attempts to use mental health to get out of trouble is disgusting. You are manipulative and you are gross and you have had a history of manipulation. And I cannot believe that people are still sticking up for you. And I believe that they are just as disgusting because all they are is ignorant, just like you, except they are in a much easier position to change. They just choose not to, so you and your fans can go suck dick. This is another video that I brought up in my last video, but again, I didn't go into detail about it because I didn't watch the video. I don't want to watch the videos. I haven't really watched the videos, and but I'll get into that in a minute. Here's somebody actually watching her video. My alter switch, caught on camera, live footage. I'm not gonna address the heat of the last video. I feel like I've already done that. Great daughter's retention already. Yeah. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? <laughs> really lively today, Trisha. No, as you can see, she's uh, already trying to claim that this is an alter. But the weird thing is, is that she's been on YouTube for about 10 years now and there's never Wait. been anyone other than her. Like your opinions are your opinions and that's just... 
how we have to leave it, but, um, we make YouTube videos and think. Do you know this the worst bit about this is that she's literally copying yeah. action for action from the uh, person in video. video. Yeah, this she's like trying to reenact it. It's different, like like trying to attention seek. That's kind of bad. Yeah. But like Let's not spending forget. the time trying to act out the movements and the mannerisms. Like that's yeah. sick. That's yeah. sick literally. in the head. Let's not forget. This is the person I fucking identified as a chicken nugget six years ago. <laughs> yeah. This is the person. And but... weirdly, that was more believable. Yeah. In that Anthony Padilla video, yeah. she's shown three altars in a video. Okay, and one of them was a really quiet. Yeah, I remember altar, you showed okay? me. I remember seeing and this is what Trish is trying to copy right now. Yeah. Get scared because we're alone. Trisha P.S. can go and fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even funny. This is actually just like getting really angry. Yeah. I think it's like 95% of the time are victims of like childhood abuse yeah. and shit yeah, and trauma. Yeah, yeah, so it's that. like you're literally mocking that. Literally. Like that's too. She's uh, been on YouTube since like 2007. I never once, not once in her entire career, I've never like shown any type of symptoms of like DID or anything like that. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Never. Yeah. Do you know it's I mean? not true. That's what it is. It's not <laughs> yeah, true. It's Everybody hates us for something. We can't control. That scares me so. Everyone Yo, hates uh, us. So now she's just guilt tripping people, okay? Yeah, <laughs> Before this cut, she was like that, two onions, like... I think it's... Fuck off, honestly, I just channel... fuck off! I don't choose who, what, when, where to show who, what, when, where. Yes, you do choose, because you've only ever shown one altar your whole entire career. Because there isn't any other ones, Trish! That's how it works! <laughs> There's only one fucking altar, and that's fucking dumb. So as you can see, the entire video is just her pretending to, like, keep on switching and keep on alternating between her different altars, which she doesn't have, and it's all fake. It is so obviously fake, and anyone who believes it is an absolute moron. She's posted two videos since the that one that's got anything to do with... Anyway, so the first one is dissociated, please stop bullying us. One, you're not a nurse. Two, she's not, but if any of you have seen her video, which you should, you would know that she can literally have not been any more polite or any more nice, especially to somebody as disgusting as Trisha Paytas. You are gross, you are manipulative, you are just a shitty human being, you are absolute flaming garbage, and dissociated Nin was so nice to you. Clearly because she doesn't know the kind of bitch you are, but now she does, and now she is able to stick up for other people and other systems and realize that you don't deserve a platform. You don't deserve to be on social media because all you do is spread stigma, misinformation, and hate towards other people who are actually struggling with the things you are struggling with. You're not. Stop faking it. Just because you think it is trendy doesn't mean you're allowed to mock it or pretend you haven't because that is just diminishing other people. If you pay attention to the description, you can also see that she wrote dissociated faking it. No, she's not. You are, you disgusting piece of shit. Then she posted another one saying, I'm actually really not okay. Um, I watched like the first few seconds of it and let me tell you what happens. She starts off by basically saying like, I only made, I think I made like one comment on Anthony Padilla's video and then I responded to him. Like everything was like their fault and I only did this thing once and it's like, you call somebody with DID crazy and then you try to copy their mannerisms in order to pretend that you have DID. You have spent over a week trying to call out other people saying that they are trash, saying that you have DID and that you're the only person that matters because obviously they're crazy, right? I cannot describe. I don't think I have the vocabulary to do so. There are about a million words in the English language and none of them can portray how much I want to hit her with a truck. Literally, Dissociated has never bullied you. They literally could have not been nicer to you whilst you are out here making sure that systems suffer, making sure that people that actually have DID are getting the worst possible response that they can. And of course, this is completely different now, but of course she has to speak on coronavirus as well. Please continue with social distancing. Please don't spread the virus. Please don't be an asshole. But here is Trisha talking about it. The H3 podcast, I think, was like gonna kick Trisha Paytas off because of like the coronavirus or something. And then Trish took it personally and was like, Not because of you. It's um, not yeah, personal. Not, not to do I, I would have taken it personally. Yeah. Bitch, have you never heard of social distancing? It doesn't matter if you have the virus or not. It doesn't even matter if you're a high risk group for coronavirus. We are all practicing social distancing to help curb the spread of the virus and in turn literally save lives. On this topic, Dr. Gerardo Choel, Chair of Population Health Sciences at Georgia State University, says every single reduction in the number of contacts you have per day with relatives, with friends, coworkers, in school will have a significant impact on the ability of the virus to spread in the population. I thought it was only affecting old people. I literally hate ignorant people. Has anyone actually died from corona? Yeah, dude. Are you serious? So again, a PSA to everyone watching, please do not ignore the guidance on social distancing. Even people who are only showing like mild symptoms may pass the virus to many, many other people before they even know that they're sick. So you might keep the chain of infection going right to your own older or high risk relatives. At some point, Trisha insists that Antarctica is in the north. No, what's the <laughs> continent above us? There isn't one. Antarctica. That's the Arctic, you stupid. They basically have to pull up a map. 
to prove her wrong. So at one point, once our, our we're access rotating, then the Antarctica is <laughs> on the top. But then she starts talking about the whole DID thing again and bringing up Anthony Padilla. Ethan says Anthony came at him once as well, which was ironically back when he posted the Instagram versus reality video about Trisha Paytas. Anthony had commented on that video literally defending Trisha, saying, do you really think it's appropriate to talk about body shaming when you're claiming that someone looks like a beached whale? So you would think that Trisha would appreciate Anthony having defended her. Instead, this happens. You see, I uh, hate people like this. That just white knight everything. I was everything. like, yes, dude. I was like, yes, bro. It's funny. He's like the good guy at all costs. Which is like a sociopath. Like if you really mm. think that, then you're the actual like narcissist. And Trisha Paytas of all people is calling somebody a narcissist. Trisha Paytas of all people is calling somebody a sociopath. Really, you're really gonna do that. So yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about. She's a piece of shit.